guys, it's Danny here, and I wanted to do a quick review for you and show you some swatches of one of the limited edition palettes that have come out with the new spring collection from Sonia Kashuk. Um, the only place I know that you can pick anything up from her is um, retail wise is at um, Target stores. Um, you can purchase products from the online website from Target, as that's where I got mine from. Um, but there are several new items that have come out for the spring collection. Um, there's some lip glosses, uh, nail polish, um, there's a blush, there's like a cream blush quad, I think, that has come out with that. But the only item that I picked up so far is the um, quad of eyeshadows, and um, this is super duper cool. It is just plain on the back. Um, it's in a nice thick palette, and I don't know how well you can see the palette here, but it is, it's pretty thick. Like I'd say, it's probably almost an inch thick. Um, it does come with a full-size mirror, as you can see right here, but I'm going to cover that up so I don't blind you. Um, this is the, um, inside of the palette, they're all, um, like a reptile design. The name of the palette is called Moroccan Dunes. And um, it comes in a really cool little box here. And I'll just pick the camera up and show you the box really quick. Um, it's just, um, it's like a corally, peachy colored. And then it's, got, I've just got some new products that I've got to review here in there. But um, this is how it looks. It's a pretty nice box. I'm actually going to use it for um, storage in my um, drawer set from Ikea. So anyway, moving on, um, the shadows here are all appear to be metallic. So I'm just going to swatch them very quickly and show you, um, you know, how they appear on the skin swatched. And I'm not going to use a primer, so this is just going to be straight up on my skin. So I'm just going to pull my shirt up here so I don't get anything on it. And I'm going to swatch this first one here, which is kind of like a... Um, let me get a closer look at this. It's like a very pale golden taupey color. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but it's it's very metallic. Um, there's the way it's swatching there. Very pigmented. They're very um, soft, but they're not soft as in um, crumbling under my fingers. So that's the swatch of the first color there. So you can see that. It is very shimmery. It's not chunky. It didn't flake. Um, here's the here's what's left on my finger. So I mean, you can see a little. Oops, a little goes a long way. So that's the first color. That is going to be the color on the top. If you're looking at the palette straight on. All right. The second one I'm going to go clockwise is going to be this dark, kind of a reddish brown, and it looks to have little bitty flecks of micro fine golden glitter or shimmer. Um, this one is also very smooth. Um, you can kind of see the glitter in there if you move it across the light. And I'll apply that one right here next to it. So you can see the very fine shimmers. These are not flaking at all. Um, they're, they're swatching quite well, so I'm sure they would do even better on a base. All right, the next shade in the palette is going to be this one here, which is kind of like a very pale coppery color. A lot of gold, but it, it is a it is a copper, coppery colored gold. So there's the way that one appears. And then I'm just going to swatch that here. So I'm trying to like keep this out of the way. I have no room here to swatch. So kind of see the colors better. Okay, and then there's one left here, which is going to be more of a taupey, um, kind of taupey colored. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a taupe. Um, and I will, I'm just gently moving my finger across because it's got the design on it, so I don't want to dig in there too deep, but there is that color there swatched on my finger. And I will swatch that right here. So there are the colors right there as they appear. That's about spot on. 
Um, here they are more in the light where you can see the reflex of it. See how this one has almost like kind of a grayish tint and then it kind of turns brown as you move. So that's a definite beautiful taupe. So um, yeah, I think that if you're wanting to invest in this palette, I would suggest moving quickly. Um, I did purchase mine online from the Target website. As I said, I believe this was $20 or less. Um, I don't have the actual invoice for it um, right here with me, but um, yeah, it, it's definitely a must-have in my opinion. I love neutral shadows and I love sparkly shadows. So um, these three are more on the metallic side. This one is more on just a shimmery side. So that would be a great crease color. So I just wanted to share these with you all and let you see them for yourselves in case you were wondering or maybe you haven't seen this at all. So this may be new to you, but um, yeah, that is the um, review of it. If anybody is wondering what this weird looking polish is, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it is the texture polish from Milani. So it's kind of got like the sand kind of look to it. It's pretty cool. Um, it is rough, but it doesn't um, like snag on anything. So it's kind of cool. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the texture there. So it's pretty cool. Um, I picked it up from the Milani website because none of the drugstores in my area had it. So they've got a really pretty yellow one that I that I had to get. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, here again is a look at the palette. And yeah, I really like it. Um, as you can see, here's the mirror right here. So I mean, it's a full size, nice, pretty nice mirror. There's me. Hi. Um, but yeah, that's it. So um, let me know if you have this or if you're thinking about getting it, let me know. And um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.